rockets hit U.S. military base in Syria. Following the completion of the U.S. exit from Afghanistan, critical events are taking place in Syria, another important region of the Middle East. According to the latest information from local journalists in the region and the Syrian regime's official news agency, a U.S. base in Syria was hit by missiles on the evening of August 31, video footage allegedly belonging to the event was shared. After briefly reviewing the latest situation in the balance of power in Syria, we will examine other details regarding this attack on the U.S. military base. The biggest suspect here seems to be Iran. Because Iran, which has increased its activities in the region in recent days, attacked in order to suppress the resistance forces resisting against the regime in the south of Syria and reacted to the members of the Assad army supported by Russia, revealing the aim of completely eliminating Iran's purpose. Dominate Syria At the same time, after the meeting between President Biden and Israeli President Bennett, sanctions against Iran were also mentioned. This was met with a strong reaction from Iran's new president. Biden, on the other hand, made some statements on the subject. As a result of the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan, its diplomatic power in the Middle East seems to be gradually disappearing. So what moves has Iran made regarding Syria in recent days and what is said in the Syria statement from Iran while the U.S. is withdrawing from Afghanistan? Now let's examine the details together. Iran and Syria vowed on Sunday to take mighty steps to confront U.S. sanctions imposed on the two regional allies, saying their relations will strengthen under Iran's new leadership. The sanctions have caused severe fuel shortages in Syria, which has been relying mostly on Iranian oil shipments that have been subjected to mysterious attacks over the past two years. Syria has blamed Israel for the attacks. As the last of the U.S. military presence in Afghanistan was set to depart, Iran's recently sworn-in president sent his new top diplomat to Iraq and Syria to send a message of Tehran's enduring commitment and to discuss recent events in the region.